Okay, I have a question here. Can you read and speak to the return of Christ? And just what that really is about. I know many Christians think literally it's about Jesus popping out of the clouds. I rather think it's about our own ability to recognize and receive that consciousness. I'm not a Christian per se, but very much my own growing, changing belief system, but appreciate Jesus and what he tried to teach as well as Buddha, etc. Right. Well, it was said, and let's see if I can remember this, okay? Okay. There will be many coming in my name. If they say, I am here or there, believe them not. For you will see me return in the clouds with great glory. This generation will not pass away before you see me return. Well, that generation was long ago, okay? So this means that when one is passing out of form, then they will see the return of Christ. He will come to meet them as they are ascending to the heavenly realms, okay? So that's what that means. It's not meaning that he's going to return to earth. You're going to see him <clears throat> returning, okay? Because it would say also that God is judging the hearts and the minds. You know, when you come before me and you say, Lord, 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 didn't we prophesy in your name? Didn't we heal in your name? Didn't we do all these things in your name? He's going to say, I'm going to tell you during that time, get away from me. I never knew you. Okay? Just because you say, Lord, Lord, if your heart and your mind is not you know, you're doing it for egoic purposes. You're not doing it because you're surrendered to God. Okay? There are many things that one can uh, have happen. You know, it says, if you believe, have the faith of a mustard seed, and you say to this mountain, move, it will move. Okay? So if you have that unflinching, un, uh, just absolute uh, awareness that what you say is going to manifest, it can manifest, okay? But it doesn't mean that it's coming from, you know, a genuine place of surrender, okay? God is about surrender. It's not about the powers one can develop, okay, if it's done from an egoic sense, okay? So I hope that explains it, yes. He said, when, you know, you will see me, this generation will not pass away before you see me again, okay? A generation is about 50 years, 60 years during that time, a generation. I was about the general lifespan, okay? Well, we've passed that many times over, okay? <laughs> so yes, when you pass out of form, you will see him coming again in the clouds with great glory. You will be aware of him. He will be present, you know? And there are those that have had these near-death experiences, ones that have actually died for a few moments on a table and said they saw Christ absolutely clearly coming, you know. So that's what it means. Again, it's, it's uh, um, if one is studying, one has to study the whole of the Bible. And I say if you're going to, you know, if you're not familiar with the Bible and you want to study, start first with just the things that Christ said. Get a Bible that has the things that Christ said in the red. Read that first. Get familiar with really what it was he was teaching, what he was saying, what was his focus, okay? Once you understand that, then you can go back and look at the rest of it, okay, in the New Testament. Once you finish the New Testament and you got, you know, how things had changed, then you can go back and read the Old Testament, okay? Because a lot of things changed with his coming, you know. With his coming, he changed a lot of the, a lot of the hardcore um, letter of the law for the spirit of the law, 
okay? Everything used to be the letter of the law, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, okay? When he came, then he gave the Sermon on the Mount, okay? So begin there, you know, if you want to know uh, what Christ was saying. And, you know, some of the things get uh, really difficult, like if you're reading Revelations and what he was saying to the different churches in the end times, uh, the way that they would be mismanaged, the way that they would fall, the way that they were um, no longer valid. And I mean, you see many of those today if you read Revelations and what the Spirit had said to the churches. Okay, the seven lampstands and what the different uh, admonitions were to those. Okay, so I will leave this here. Hopefully that hasn't confused you further. Thank you for asking that question. Namaste.